Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can do a private stream test when you want to stream to Twitch, but you're not quite ready to go live. So the main site that you're going to want to use for this is inspector.twitch.tv. And what you'll be able to do here is to make sure that your upload bitrate and your settings are going to be good for streaming to Twitch and that you don't run into any major issues, ideally. If you do a stream test, one of the ways you would know you ran into an issue is if after your test, Unstable Events pops up here. You can click on that, and then you can use the information here to identify some of the problems with your stream. For instance, when I was doing this test run, I was trying to stream at 6,000 kilobits per second, but you can see that the average kilobits per second came out to 4,000, and the max came out to 4,500. So if you're trying to stream at 6,000, and you come in here and it looks like that, then you'll have to do some troubleshooting to figure out what's going on with your internet. Maybe it's too slow, maybe it's just really unstable right now. So you may find that you might need to lower your settings or actually switch to a better internet connection if you really want to stream. But let's go back to how you actually do the stream test. So on inspector.twitch.tv, there'll be this button over here, run a stream test. If you click on that, it's going to tell you to get your stream key from your Twitch dashboard. And then to put that into this phrase, the stream key is going to replace this live underscore zero underscore X area. And then after that, you put question mark bandwidth test equals true. So to get the stream key, we just go over to the Twitch dashboard. I'll right click this and open in a new tab. So that'll bring you to your channel settings. So you want to copy this number over to Streamlabs. So if we click on Streamlabs, we can click on the settings and then we go to stream. And on this tab, we want to choose stream to custom ingest. So at the top, you'll get a warning that um, if you do customize the settings rather than using the defaults in Streamlabs OBS, it may kind of mess up with things. So after we're done here, we're going to want to switch back to the recommended settings. But for now, we need to put in the stream key. So I'm going to hit control V in order to paste that in here, but we're not done yet. So if we go back over to the web browser and we go to the Twitch inspector, we need to grab this question mark bandwidth test equals true part. So control C to copy that. And now we go over to the uh, Streamlabs settings again. And under stream key, just right at the end here, whatever your stream key is, you can hit control V to paste in the extra tag for the bandwidth test. So that's really going to be all for your settings here. Um, you can hit show and make sure that it matches your stream key and that the bandwidth test got pasted in there properly. And then you can go ahead and hit OK. So now when we hit go live, it's going to be sending the data out to the Twitch servers, but it's not going to publicize your stream onto your Twitch page. So when we hit go live here, we'll have the stream info box pop up. It's not really relevant right now because we're not really streaming. So let's do confirm and go live just so that the Twitch server can start receiving the data. So now let's go back over to Twitch inspector. And then we can also look at our stream page. So I'm going to hit home here and then on dashboard twitch tv i'm also going to be opening up the stream manager because we want to show that although we're sending data to the twitch servers it's not actually making us go live so this should stay offline otherwise there wouldn't be much point because you'd just be streaming live anyway but if we go to twitch inspector we can see that it is now receiving the data so for 29 seconds here it's saying it's stable at uh, 5,900 kilobits per second. So uh, that is much better than these other stream tests. The idea if we pop open Streamlabs OBS is that our output upload bitrate should be close to our settings. And the settings I'm using for Twitch TV are 6,000 kilobits per second. If we open up the settings here, we can see that and output 6,000 bitrate. So right now, these settings are actually looking pretty good. We're not getting any dropped frames. Uh, the FPS is good. The CPU usage isn't too high. And we can go over back onto inspector.twitch TV and confirm that everything is looking good. On the stream manager, though, it's offline, which is exactly what we want. So doing this, we're able to do our stream test without showing any information to anyone who might pop in on our Twitch channel. So uh, once we're pretty much done there, we can go ahead and end the stream. And if we refresh the page, we can see apparently I still ran into a minor event here where the kilobits per second dropped off. So ideally what you'll see here is a flat line at the bitrate that you set for your upload. If you don't run into any unstable events like over here, then you'll be good to go. Uh, otherwise, you'll have a little bit of troubleshooting to do. 
So at this point, you should know how to do a stream test to inspector.twitch.tv without actually going live onto your Twitch channel. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.